Good morning. We are coming to you live from Anne Arundel County Animal Care and Control. We're not going to watch the slideshow this way because it's rather time consuming. However, we are going to show you a cute little QR code that you can use to get to see our live easier. Hopefully I can hold the phone still enough for you all to be able to scan that if you want to do that. This is a Monday, so we are closed today, but we are an animal shelter. Therefore, we're open to care for the animals and we're hoping to have some animals leave today. We've already had a couple of cats leave to our partners at Save Cats. So awesome that we're able to get them moved on. As you can see, we are cleaning, so pardon our mess if we have any. I'm just gonna show you kitties that are in here. This is Angel. Hi, Angel. How are you this morning? And up here is Houdini. Hi, Houdini. How are you? We have Arcadia. Hello, Arcadia. We have Weepy. Hi, Weepy. You seem very active and energetic. Look at those paws. You have some huge paws, mister. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. We have Quicksilver, who is very scared. But she's been coming around to our volunteers that get to spend time socializing with her. This is Twinkle. Looks like Twinkle might have been scared when Twinkle first got here, but he seems to be getting much more comfortable. We have Devin. Hi, Devin. I do want to remind everyone that if you're watching, our Halloween party will be coming up Saturday, October 28th, 2023 from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. We hope to see you there. Um, we are accepting candy right now to help make sure that we have loads and loads and loads of candy for the children that will be here. We have costume contests and all kinds of fun stuff happening here at the shelter that day. This is Leah. Good morning, Kathy. Hi, Leah. Up here we have Bertha. Hello, Bertha. How are you today? Looks like Bertha probably came in a little matted and we had to shave her, so she's working on growing back her coat. We have Cider. Hi there, Cider. You getting into the Halloween spirit? Huh? You getting into the Halloween spirit, Cider? We have Zelda. Hello, Zelda. How are you today? She's looking for a cat savvy home. She's got some torty in there. So a little bit of torty too. Looking for somebody that understands that some cats want things their way on their time. We have little Miss Joan. Hi, Joan. What beautiful big ears you have. We have Skipper. Skipper. Hello there, Skipper. Oh, good morning. Then over here we have Dude. Hi, Dude. What you doing back there? You gonna come out and say hi? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. You talker, huh? We have Eve. Hi, Eve. Oh my goodness, dude. I think you should be Dudette. I think you should be Dudette. This is Pugsley. Hi there, Pugsley. How are you this morning? And then we have Licorice. Hello, Licorice. We have Falcor. He's a big dude. Aren't ya? Aren't ya big dude? And he also, I think, has been a blood donor for us and helped other animals in need, other kitties in need. Here's Warlock. Hello, Warlock. And then we have, I don't know how to say that, Legia. Legia. Hi. And sweet potato. I love sweet potato. That's just an adorable face. Also on our website, we have a cat gallery where you can see pictures of cats that are in foster or in offices 
We're going to take a quick walk through our dog gallery next. As you can see, we're cleaning. Breathe. 
Because you are correct on that, Glenda. Lots of really awesome bully breeds here. Looking for a home. so we're not going to be going into there unless I can grab them. That's our sick room, so not going into the sick room. We are going to stop through receiving, um, but I think that the dogs from receiving may already be put away. Let's find out just to make sure. That they've been put away. Haven't had a chance to clean in here yet, but at least the dogs have been put away. I also wanted to make sure there wasn't anything else new. Oh my goodness, you guys are beautiful. Now I have to find out if I can show you. These guys are some of our socialization kittens. If any of our fosters that are interested in taking home socialization kittens, I probably need to move these guys to my office. And then it looks like we have Charmony and Luna. Hi, Luna. And let me see if I can show you guys who's in age four and five because if I can, it'd be super awesome and I think you'd really like them. But I, oh, cat four and five. It says they're strays. It seems very odd, but found on Maryland Route 175. So, wow, look at this kitty. I don't know if you're a male or a female, but you are beautiful. Yeah, you are beautiful. And so are you. Look at these kitties. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I making you nervous? That's okay. I'm going to say hi to a few of our office kitties. Um, we're not going to be going into our training room today because they are working on our HVAC. In fact, they're going to be doing some prey lifts and lifting some very heavy things above our building. Um, and while they will definitely tell us about that, um, we're just gonna steer clear and give the workmen the space that they need to get our HVAC up and running as it should be. Do you wanna come and say hi, my little friend? Peeps. Peep, peep. Why'd you, you go under the... Bed? You ran away when I came in. Peep, Come on. No. Hi. Yeah, okay. We're going to keep moving. Phoebe's not interested in talking to us today. That's okay. This way. Let's see what else we have in the offices. I know, Greta. What? I know I'm doing the live. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, she wants to make sure I don't feed your little butt again. Because you don't need to be double fed, do ya? Yeah. You don't need to be double fed, do ya? What? What? There's Greta. She's a talker. She's looking for a cat savvy person who gets that cats are catty and don't always like everybody in every moment. And in here, we she should have our little Lily friend and she, as soon as I can find her. Having, she's having a bite to eat. Here's Lily having breakfast. And then I think the construction workers are looking for me. There's Buddy, he's not for adoption. So we're gonna see Putt and Par, and then I'm gonna let you all go for the day. So we'll just pop in here real quick. And see Putt and Par. Okay, did Putt and Par get adopted? Where are Putt and Par? 
Did Putt and Par get adopted, Yvonne? They got adopted Saturday. I was really excited about that. That's super awesome. Okay, so then we're going to end with Greta. We hope everybody has a wonderful day. Coming to you live from Anne Arundel County Animal Care and Control. Reminder, our Halloween party is 1028 from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Oh, we get some music. We get some music here in the critter room. Okay, we have two bunnies here. Their names are Sage and Empty Card. No, you're fine. Um, it would be great to find these guys a home today because we have to relocate them. And we're not sure where we're going to relocate them to. So if you're a Dirty Dancing fan... Look at that! Of course I am. <laughs> um, this is Cadabra. Cadabra. I have two pigs down here somewhere, oatmeal and... They're just jumping around. And then we have Pop Tart. She's eating something tasty snack over there. And this adorable Melody. Oh, if I wasn't allergic. Hi, Melody. You baby. And then we have Odin, who I never see because always, she always hides, but there she is. Quick peek, quick peek. Bugs, bugs and cadaver look the same. And then guinea pig. Hiding guinea pig. Hey, they always hide on me. There we go. Oh, gosh, you cute. Look how cute you are. Look at you cute guinea pig. Come adopt guinea pig. Okay, all right. Let's head on into other areas of the world. We're going to go in here. We're going to tell Brian we're doing a live broadcast because he wouldn't know otherwise. Yeah. So make sure he doesn't say anything bad on camera. Oh. You be. There you are. Look at you. There's Putt and Par. This is Par. Hi. And Putt's usually down here in Putt's little oh, safe right space. Right yep. Oh, You're fine. There's Putt. Two, two wonderful kitties need a home. Now let's go into the next office. Miss Lils. There's Miss Lils. Good morning, everybody. Love to see, love to see little comments. Love to see the smiley faces and the hearts. Miss Greta, is she on her throne? She's on her throne. This is Miss Greta on her throne. Hi. Don't don't give the people a stink look. Give them a cute cat look. It's not working, is it? Greta, did you have a rough night? <laughs> she's looking, she's avoiding. Oh, Greta. There, he's a good kitty. She's a good kitty. <laughs> she does. They tend to get pretty attached to their office mates, which is hard for both of both parties. It's hard for us to see them get adopted. Um, but, you know, it's hard for them because they get so attached. They don't want to say hi to anybody else. So in our gallery, in our gallery, in our lobby here, we have our virtual dog gallery, um, which goes through all the dogs in our care. Some of them you will not find in the main gallery. Some of them are in side rooms. Some of them are in foster homes. So you want to keep an eye on this screen. Buttercream example. She's in a foster home, so you won't see her here. Um, but they are still available, and we want to try to get them into homes. If we get them out of, out of, adopted out of foster, then those fosters are open to take new ones. So we want to do everything we can to try to get these friends adopted. Our shelter remains very, very full, so we have continued to waive our adoption fees. Chamomile is another one. She is in a foster home. Chip is also in a foster home. 
came in at 28 pounds and I think he's about 40 now. So he's doing really well. He was very, very thin and very gross looking when he came in. So if you can adopt, if you have friends that can adopt, if you know anybody that wants to adopt, please send them our way. Our shelter is full and we've got a ton of awesome animals looking for new homes. This gallery can also be seen on our website at www.aacounty.org slash pets. And if you go to Adoptable Pets, you'll see the virtual dog gallery slideshow, which will have all the current listings. These are kept up to date by our volunteers, so we're very, very grateful for all of that help. All right, let's go on in to the trying to reconnect. So 10, 26, 12 to seven, that's our extended one, 11, nine, 12 to three, and 12, seven, 12 to three. We also have a lot of cats and kittens in foster homes and in shelter offices that you won't see. So we have this little Phoebe's in our office. So Pop-Tarts in a foster home. So we have this as well. Oh, cookies and cream, all sad by themselves because everybody got adopted yesterday, but you cookies and cream, you'll get adopted today. This is Arcadia. This my girl, Quick. Hey, Quick. She's so soft. It's Quicksilver, so soft. Weepy. You looking good, Weepy? Yeah, you looking good. Yes, you are. Lady Gwen. Lady Gwen, that's Lady Gwen. This is Devin. Miss Sue's Q. Oh, here's my man. Here's my Ollie man. Yeah, hey Ollie. Yeah. So most of our cats come to us as strays. We do have some that are owner surrendered. This is Cider. Cider's about two, came in as a stray. He is neutered and ready to go home. Leia, I missed you, Leia. Leia. There's Miss Leia. So if it's a stray, we name them. If it's an owner surrender, then they keep their name, unless it's an awful name like Killer. This is Joan. And down here is Skipper. 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 All right, let's head over to the other side of the room where we have Claudia. She was surrendered by her owner. Claudia, Pugsley, there's Pugsley. We have Licorice down here. Hey, Licorice. Falcor, Falcor needs to be adopted, go to a home and start on a diet program because he arrived at 12 pounds and now he's 18. Him to love his food and his strict cage rest. I don't know how to say that, so there you go. Ligia, Ligia. There she is. Look at those big eyes, so scared. And down here we have sweet potato. There's sweet potato. I don't think we have any declawed cats right now. And then we have over here furry who's with his foster mama. There's Furry. He'll, I promise he'll look wonderful. Well, he's so cute anyway. Once his hair grows back around his face. He came in with two very, very badly injured eyes. So he had to have those removed. Do you want to say anything about Furry while you're on the live? He's a cuddle bunny. 
uh, very smart. He's walking around my house very independently. He's gone up the stairs. He uses his litter box. Um, he's a great companion, especially for someone of my era, <laughs> a quiet home, and he might need just a friend for company. But yeah, he's basically a miracle. He, he plays. You, you can't even tell. He plays. He's independent. He eats. So well. thankfully, thankfully, since we have our very own first full-time veterinarian, we were able to do the procedure in-house. And thankful to our fosters who are then willing to take them home for recovery. For adoption, when you have a blind kitty, it's best if you're not one of those rearrangers of... does this to me all the time. Um, he is a miracle. Yep. Look how beautiful he is. He has a beautiful, beautiful coat. So that's furry, available for adoption. Hey, fur. And he loves QVC football. Oh, football. nice. Ravens fan and QVC. So <laughs> hide your credit cards. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So let's see what else we got. My Wi-Fi is in and out, so I do apologize. We have Harmony up here. It's Harmony. Wound of unknown origin quarantine until December. Um, down here, Magni's wound of unknown quarantine, but that's over soon on the 17th of this month. Swiss. Swiss is over at the end of this month. That's Dexter. <gasps> this one's name is Milkshake. This is a quieter room. Uh, no public comes in here, so um, it's nicer for some of the scareder cats. Or Twinkie, who's not scared, but is a scratch case. That's over, so. Yeah. Jameson. Jameson was surrendered, came in with a cat named Franklin, who we'll try to find somewhere. I don't know. Um, Parrot. There's Parrot. Splash must be hiding. Zelda. There's Zelda. Angel. Look at those fun eyes. There's Angel. Um, Houdini. Houdini. This is Lewis. There's Lewis. Rosa. Rosa. Oh, she's cute. She's tiny. She's cute. And down here is Warlock. All right, so let's head to another room. This is where we keep our kitties with upper respiratory. It's uh, pretty contagious. And although we ask politely to keep fingers out of cages, it's very irresistible for some people that come in. So it can spread from one cat to the other very quickly. So that's why we keep them in this room. This boy is Tractor. This is Mackenzie. Anybody out there, any of my fosters is interested in a single cat? Be nice to get her out for a week or two, get her feeling better. Just get them healthy in this room because my Wi Fi is not very good in this room. So, leaving this room, let's go into this room. Hey, can I ask you a question? There's a cat in quarantine, left bottom cage. It needs a litter box. It's not a question. Um, Statement. <laughs> Teddy. Teddy's 13. He was surrendered. It was her. But I said, I think two of them, the 
Pocus is hiding. Your mom was in a car accident, I believe. And Hocus is hiding. So let's head to receiving. We have a few in receiving. A few new dogs that came in. A few dogs that came in overnight. So let's go over there. Okay, coming in with the live to show some of friends back here. We have some very angry kittens. If anybody, one of them is probably, the other two are probably okay. One of them's pretty bad. So if any of my fosters want to socialize. Um, down here I have Charmy. Charmy came in as a stray, if anybody recognizes Charmy. Luna is hiding in her carrier, so I can't show you her. So let's see the dogs. We'll start with the one that's going to scream at us first. If anybody's missing, we got this big white boy. We think we might have scores for everybody. And it came in with this one. Hopefully they can all go home today. Um, the German Shepherd puppy is still at the shelter. Uh, this Shiba Inu. And this cool guy. All these came in overnight. All right. Um, I think that's it. So we'll just walk to my office and say a little hello to Phoebe. Go this way. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please try to come visit us this weekend. If you're send your friends. Um, in two Saturdays. So hopefully, hopefully we'll see you there. Phoebe, let's find you a home so we can get you out of this office and in a home. Can you tell everybody to have a good weekend? Phoebe, tell them have a good weekend. All right, thank you everybody for watching.